Welcome to the Pulse of Spokane. My name is Tyler Masters. We have a great show, a great guest today, Antonio Holder, who is the co-owner of Decorum Gifts. What's up, man? How you doing? How's it going, boss? So my name's Antonio Holder. I'm a co-owner of Decorum Gifts with my partner, Gabe Fernos, uh, one of many ventures that I have here in Spokane, Washington. Yeah. How long have you been in the area for? So I was actually born in Seattle, Washington. I moved here when I was about three years old. So my dad lives in Seattle, my mom lives here. So I kind of bounce back and forth, but Spokane's definitely home for me. Yeah. We were talking a little bit beforehand. You have an interesting story about being a business owner. You jumped in. This is, this is the wildest thing about your business. You jumped in in March after COVID started thinking that basically we were bound to come back to business right soon and before hoop fest what what happened why what was your thought process when you were getting into decorum gifts uh so we definitely took it over at uh, probably the worst possible time you could uh -huh. take over a business uh, our thinking behind the whole thing was truthfully we had no idea how long COVID would really last uh, i knew at the time hoop fest was still showing that it was going to happen uh, Bloomsday was still supposed to happen, pig out in the park. So the main yeah. events that thrive with our business. So Spike and dig. Yeah, everything we possibly needed. So we uh, kind of took a leap of faith on that one. And shortly within a, a few weeks, actually, we noticed Hoop Fest wasn't going to happen. So there was oh, a man. lot of change that needed to be made and we had to adapt immediately. That's wild. It was, uh, it was a lot to take on at the time. Yeah. I don't regret it at all. Uh, especially because we're just about through and we're still alive, which I'm blessed for. But the timing wasn't uh, the best timing I've had. I'll yeah. put it that way. I think a lot of people were in that same mindset thinking, okay, this can only last three, four, maybe five months, but it can't go on for much longer. Um, now that you're in it and we've been doing this for almost a year, do you feel like... Um, you guys have innovated or changed in ways to kind of meet the market where it's at? Most definitely. I think that we kind of had to, like I said, with downtown being so slow and store traffic being slow, so we had to change something. Yeah. And for us, online has been huge. Uh, mm. Amazon has been even bigger. That's kind of kept us afloat through these times. We have a lot of products that are uh, suit all customers needs so we can do a lot of stuff online and play around with amazon and kind of capture that market as well yeah that's crazy so you're a little bit of a hustler a little bit <laughs> a little bit of a hustler uh in a good way in the best For way sure. i mm -hmm. mean just talking to you you're very business minded right um you also have a i mean you're just you have your hands in everything right you yeah. coach uh, which which school do you coach football? North Central. At? So where I went to high school, I coach football at North Central High School, and okay. then I have a auto detail company here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Yeah. And then I have this decorum gift store as well as some Amazon stuff that I'm doing with local businesses around here. Yeah. And how's your auto detailing company going? Good. I would say that kind of saved me through these times because decorum was such an impulse thing, and we weren't where we needed to be sales wise, and the detail company was a better thing with everything going on. You know, we offer sanitation, we offer disinfectant, which is positive during COVID. And a lot of people wanted yeah. to continue to use our services. Uh, we also adapted and have technicians go mobile. So we avoided customers dropping off at the shop. We're going directly to people's houses to make it as convenient as possible for the consumer. Yeah. So I will say that uh, throughout these times, the detail company has been a lot better for me through this pandemic than yeah. the decor store itself. It's a good business model for COVID. Yes, for yeah. sure. Because you could do it without having to have a lot of contact with people and that kind of thing. Yeah, there's very little contact. Uh, we come with everything we need. The technicians show up. As long as the vehicle's unlocked, we can operate. The customer doesn't even need to leave their house. Yeah. Awesome. We make it as easy as possible. Convenience is everything nowadays. Yeah, for sure. Are you uh, optimistic for the future with all your businesses? Are you thinking about what's going to happen? What, how are you feeling? I have high hopes. Uh, I think that the fact that we've made it this long in the middle of this pandemic is mm -hmm. big. It gives me a lot of hope for the future. I don't yeah. see it getting worse. I just see it going up. So for me, I mean, I'm blessed to know that eventually, let's hope, 
that everything's back to normal and we're in a great position and it all made sense to this this hardship time yeah i mean i think a lot of people are thinking that way that it's got to change soon um you know the news is mixed though right for sure i mean you hear that we're going to be opening up again and then we close back down you know two and a half months ago um the the standards for what it would take to reopen are so stringent for us over here in eastern washington you do wonder you know how long it's actually going to be um and now they're talking about continuing to social distance after after um you know people actually get vaccinated um, you know, are you, are you worried at all? Or are you just kind of holding out on hope that there'll be some sanity? <laughs> Def definitely hope. There's yeah. a lot of questions. You know, I try to not beat myself up too much on what's going to happen today. What's going to happen tomorrow. You know, I, I care to an extent, but I can only change so much myself. Mm -hmm. So with what's in front of me is kind of my day to day, you know, yeah. even if it's an uphill battle, I'm always fighting. So I just kind of play the cards I'm dealt and see what my options are from there and lay down yeah. the best hand you know so i do have high hopes i hope stuff goes back to normal uh yeah semi-normal would even be better than where we're at now yeah definitely but for the time being we just have to thrive in other ways and keep our thing is, is you're you're the person to talk to you and other business owners you guys are the people to talk to when it comes to what would actually help you going forward so in your mind if you were to, to create some rules that would help you or some regulations that would help you going forward, you know, what is it that you would like to see on a state level or a local level that is just, it would say, hey, this helps us stay afloat and prepare for the future, you know? Yeah, well, I think that one, I mean, I know it's tough uh, with the pandemic and everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. It's tough for me to see a place like Coeur d'Alene uh, that's thriving right now with sales. All of our traffic is going there to purchase from their local boutiques and local restaurants. Yeah. And I think what I'd like to see is Spokane to incorporate some of the measures Coeur d'Alene follows in the sense of allowing the people that have been vaccinated, allowing the people that aren't as concerned, don't have health risk to be able to go out. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people, there's two, you have two different people. You have the the person who is very concerned about the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, not wanting to leave their house, wanting everything to be shut down. Yeah. And then you have a totally different person who's driving 60 miles to Coeur d'Alene to get away from the situation that they're in. Right. Yeah. So it, it's hard for me to see that. And I just, I'd like us to be in a position where we're as safe as we possibly can be, but we still allow the people that aren't high risk and vaccinated to have some normalcy in their life you know mm. and i think that will help the business as well because there's people that want to get out you know there's people that want to do stuff it's not the same situation so a lot of times they won't leave the house but i think yeah. that it's it's going to be big for us to work as a community and work together to figure out how we can you know get out of the phase we're in and get to the next level you know yeah i see a lot of businesses going under and it's tough but i think that if we continue to work together and all have high hope and keep mm -hmm. fighting that we'll get in a good position here shortly. Yeah. I mean, the good news is September, right? Who yeah. best is announced September, right? It is September. Yeah. We'll see if it, uh, it's a long time from now, but you know, they have announced if that it, they're going to do it. If it stays in September, I'll be happy with it. Let's just hope yeah. it doesn't get canceled when the time comes. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. People think of our three industries, right? It's air force base, hospitals, and universities. But for some reason, we always forget that the fourth, and probably one of the most important things is we're a conference town, right? All the small businesses downtown, the restaurants, the hotels, that's based off of these conferences, not just Hoofest, Bloomsday, Spike and Dig, the basketball tournament, but just business conferences. The people come into town and stay at the Grand and, you know, Davenport and all, oh, yeah. you know, our other 12 <laughs> dozen hotels. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the lifeblood that fills in the gaps that our regular citizens can't support, you know, a restaurant industry Correct. all on its own. Um, yeah, and you guys are, and everyone should go visit you guys, but you guys are located in the perfect tourist location across from Auntie's Bookstore, 
across from the Grand. Oh yeah, uh, we're very centrally located in downtown, and that's part of the reason that it swayed me to to make the store a reality is because I was in love with the location. I think downtown's beautiful. Mm. Uh, one nice thing about being in business downtown is the community's great. Uh, other business owners, we all work together. You know, we do yeah. different marketing things and advertisement to support one another, which is huge. Yeah. Uh, the community's so tight, and that's why I can't wait to get back in a position where people are out and about, you know, experiencing downtown. Uh, Riverfront's expanded. Yeah. There's all sorts of new stuff in the city, so we just need that opportunity for people to be able to get out and experience it. Yeah. Let me ask you. You know, business is one thing, but this is a small community. So what does it mean to you to be part of the community in a substantial brick and mortar way? Um, yeah. What does Spokane actually mean to you? It, you know? it means the world, to be honest. I, uh, I moved away for a little bit, spent some time in Scottsdale and uh, kind of got dragged right back. You know, this, this yeah. is where it all started for me. Yeah. So for me to make an impact here and, and for me to, uh, you know, kind of do what I've created in, in the business platform as well as the community itself. You know, mm -hmm. I want to show people that no matter where you're from, no matter what you've been through, that you can do whatever you like, whatever you put yeah. your mind to. And I think for me, having this brick and mortar every single day with all the things that are thrown my way, I have all the power in the world to continue to fight just because I am so proud of what I've accomplished. And totally. for me, it's hard to... I'm, I'm far from a quitter. Uh, so <laughs> it's, for me, it's one of those things where it's like whatever it takes for me to be successful and whatever it takes for me to stay afloat. Uh, with that being said, decorum is my baby. And I know it's a huge spot in the community where people like to shop. So I couldn't let it go or not do everything in my power to keep it afloat when I know how much customers care about it. Yeah. Yeah. You are not alone i mean you're the example of this new generation of business owners um so many people are using you know you hate to see people go through the hardship that that the sure. COVID has brought but at the same time every time in america there's an economic dip or a challenge it opens up doors for those that normally wouldn't have the ability to get in it lowers the cost of entry right and so there are a lot of people young, you know, you're in your mid twenties that are ambitious and smart and capable. And now the bar has been lowered money wise and you can jump in and start to build the city for yourself and start to have a stake in the city. And there's a lot of people who are doing the same thing you're doing. And we're going to have some of them on the show, but you know, um, uh, it's it's definitely time for you know this generation to start contributing to the city and it's time for us to start uh taking some ownership of where we live and it's, i agree it's to the fullest to see you because eve what no matter what happens with decorum i think after people see this they'll know that you're going to land on your feet oh yeah no matter what uh you know you've got your decorum shop and you've got the auto detailing thing is is 12 reviews from being the highest reviewed yeah we're catch, we're catching up to the number one company which is is huge for me in the state yes in the state of washington highest reviewed so not too far behind in quarter lane either so if you're watching this antonio told me there are 12 reviews from being the highest reviewed detailing company in the state of washington yes sir so if you want to be one of the 12 Hit Antonio up. Yeah, go to, Spok go to Spokane Pro Mobile and drop a five star to mean the world to us, especially if you used our service before. Yeah. Uh, we obviously want you to have tried our service to make sure that a you're little satisfied. Bit of the, the pulse bump. Yeah, we, yeah. we work overtime bump. to keep you guys around and make sure you're satisfied. So yeah. a lot of the reviews are generated from that. I have a great team, uh, great people involved. So, you know, everybody works overtime to make that a reality. That's great. We're almost there. Yeah. Well, uh, I appreciate you coming on the show and sharing a little bit of your story. Uh, we're all rooting for you guys. Um, hopefully people in the community support you guys. Shop local. Please. Uh, yeah. Best of luck and, and keep us posted. Where can people find you? So you can find me uh, if you want to follow Decorum Gifts on Instagram. You can also follow us at Pro Mobile Auto Detail. There is spaces in between the Pro Mobile Auto Detail. We're trying to get okay. that handled as we speak. But you can also find me on Facebook. Uh, follow my personal page. I post all sorts of stuff on there. Antonio Holder, first and last name. Easy to find. 
stop by the store if you get an opportunity. Uh, we're going to add a discount code at 6 p.m. tonight on Decorum's website as well as Promobile's website, code 509. Uh, we'll save you 20% on all of our services, all of our products. Make sure you utilize that. Mean the world to us. Awesome. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Again, I'm Tyler Lamasters. This is the Postal Spokane, and stick around for, our, for this uh, word from our sponsor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Spokane Talks Weather Forecast. My name is Connor Kotzman, your official weather forecaster. Today, Spokane's weather is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 27, while this week will bring really cold weather. Tonight will be mostly clear with the low of 12. Coeur d'Alene's weather looks to be sunny with a high of 26 and a low of 10. Cheney weather is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 25 and a low of 11. The economy is getting stronger, banks are lending again, and interest rates are at historic lows. Now is a great time to buy your dream home. The caring and knowledgeable professionals at Homes for You have been helping people just like you for over 20 years. They take the time to listen to what you want and will help you find just the right home in Washington or Idaho. Real estate is what we do at Homes for You, 928 5782, or visit online at homes, the number four, youspokane.com. This is River Ridge Frame Shop called Frame It Today, where we can take your art, customize it, and get it ready to hang on the wall. here at River Ridge Hardware, 2803 West Garland. Weather in the inland northwest can wear you down. And if your gutters are in poor condition or you do not have gutters, you could suffer damage that could cost a fortune to fix. Rain Man Seamless Rain Gutters has almost 30 years of professional experience in serving the inland northwest region and strives to ensure customer service that is second to none from the time you call to the end of the project. Thanks for watching this episode of The Pulse. We are where you are. Check us out on any of these other platforms as well as our website. This show is sponsored by Local 29 Firefighters Union, Homes for You, and Apex Cannabis.